what happened. Earlier out there, a ghost? A ghost? Well, why do I care? It's true, there was a ghost. Yeah, right, you must have seen it wrong. What made you come here though? It's midnight. To get my workbook? Yeah, by yourself? Oh, I came with a friend. Where's your friend then? We got separated as we were running away from the ghost. I'll see her again. Did you call her? My phone went out. Then how are you gonna find her again if you don't know where she is, right? So now we are going to check out another demo. This is more an interactive horror, um, what do you call it? Visual novel? Sorry, wait, I gotta get the title. The game is called Wan Moon High School, The Ghost Gate. It is a Korean visual novel game. Uh, should I sit like this? I don't even know. Auto? Ah, okay. It's weird that it automatically starts like this, eh? Haha. Ha. Here. Wait. Background text is auto. Screen mode window. Quiet. Ghosts. Oh, okay. Hey, here. Well, why is this happening? I I just came to get my book. Gee. -he. Now that's an intro. The ghost gate demo. Uh, let me see. Uh, there we go. I was like, how do I? Okay, full screen. Options. We're gonna lower the volume just a little bit. Extras. We don't have anything yet. Okay, let's start. Side episodes, intro, labyrinth, fear, ghost story. Let's go ghost story. Friday. Dun, 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 dun. Jin Woo. So she kept running away, but the ghost was chasing her and saying, Give me back my legs. Sung the, the Then? Jin Woo, that's all. She fainted and when she woke up. It was morning. Uh. Hey, hey, that can't be real. How? Can nothing happen just because she fainted? The ghost was coming after her. I'm not sure, you know. Maybe I should lower my camera. Bears don't hurt people pretending to be dead. You think ghosts and bears are the same, by the way? That's also wrong. Well, we'll see when we get there if the ghost stories are real or not. What What do you mean, get there? To the school? Yeah, it's the perfect time now. Hot, hotter is coming is also coming soon. Ah, she's doing it again. I promised her to go. You're in, right? Why me? Let's stop being useless and go home. Do you seriously think the gate's open now? If it's locked, we'll just climb over the gate. So you're not coming? Uh, what? I think everyone else is coming. Well, if you don't want to join us. Oh, uh, but... You always call yourself Kim Sung Tae the Loyal. Ugh. Okay, fine, fine. I really don't get why you guys are wasting time on this, though. Let's go. You can count on me, bro. Ha, huh, sure, I'll count on you. So now we, we learned some new character info. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that ghost is creepy. Gone. Phew, that was a long day. Where did Hadden go anyway? She said she would be waiting outside. So that's Hadden. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. You surprised me. <laughs> did I? Yes, where were you? You'll never know I was hiding to get you. Haha. Ha. Anyway, I can't go with you today. I'm going to school now. Uh, right now? You mean? That's it. To check out the ghost stories. So you collected all the ghost stories? Yep, exactly the 13 ghost stories of Guan Moon High School. The school built on the ghost gate. The spiritual energy awakens when the dark moon rises. Is it related to the school name? Yeah. Doesn't it? Doesn't that make it more real? Because Guan Moon means the gate. Guan Moon High School on the Guan Moon. And the Dark Moon will be rising tomorrow. I suppose we'll be able to see the ghosts tonight. Isn't it exciting? Aren't you curious about whether the ghosts are coming to school or not? Ha, I think it's a big problem if the ghosts are haunting the school. It isn't dangerous at this time of the day. 
It's okay, Jinwoo is coming with me. I'm going to meet him at the main gate. He's coming too? Yeah, I talked to him. I talked to him earlier today. He said he's heard of these stories before, so he's in. Um, then I'm in too. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm worried about you, so... <laughs> um, why are you smiling? Nothing. I'm just... Learn new character info. The main gate. What? There's actually a map. This is cool. It's spookier than I thought. So I kind of wish that this game actually had voice, so I didn't have to read everything. But overall, you know. You okay? Huh? Oh, hey, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. So when is she gonna come? I think she's on her way. Should I call her? That girl, maybe she gave up because she's scared. I don't think so. Or she already left because she got so scared. Yeah, this is gonna be chill to poke fun at her later. And now we can just go home. Hey, so you guys are here after all. Whoa, why, why are you here? Of course I'm here. Hi, Jinwoo. Hi. Hey, make a sound when you're walking around. You'll scare people. Sante, you are a chicken. Right. Don't make me laugh, man. Why, wait, we are missing a, no, one couple. You mean Hara? We are waiting for her now. Jinwoo, sorry, I didn't realize I'm running late because I was talking to Gon. Hello, sorry for being late. Whoa, speak of the devil. Uh, Shin Hyojin. What, what was that? I helped you collect those ghost stories. You can't leave me out. Ha, ah, you have to ruin everything. Okay, so everyone's here, ready to go in? Do we really need to go in? You know all these stories are made up anyway. Here we go again. Hey, just admit that you were scared easily and go on home then. Why are you here anyway? He was scared, I'm not at all. <laughs> it will be fine, we're all going together. But we don't need him, that coward. Hey, stop that. You came rather late yourself. So what? It doesn't change the fact that you're a coward. Uh, um... Whatever, I'm going in first. Hodden, wait for me! Ah, uh, you never beat her. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's follow them. Why can't there be a ghost story about a school building you can never ever reach? So that we don't have to go to school at all. Yeah, we can hang out all day. Hey, don't you know that kind of story you will be wandering on school ground forever because you can't ever reach the school gate? I is it? Hee <laughs> hee. Ha, I knew it. I can never have... I never can have spooky vibes with you guys. What's that, by the way? This? Wait, you don't know what a Polaroid camera is? I, I do. Yeah, of course you do. You asked because you knew what it was. Come on. Why did you bring that? So, of course, to take photos of things we find. What about our phone cameras? Don't you know a film camera is the standard for paranormal photography? Does that really make sense to you scientifically? How about you shut up? I've heard we can't catch a ghost in photos. We'll just have to see about that then. Right. Hey, hey, where the hell are we going? We'll go to my classroom first. I left my notebook of ghost stories in there. What a fool. I'm not. I left it in there on purpose to come back here tonight. Sure you did. Of course it's on purpose. I don't like this guy. <laughs> Ugh, annoying. Hodden, calm down. You guys haven't changed. So let's go to Hodden's classroom first. It's classroom 1-3, right? Yeah, how far is our classroom? Ugh. Hey, somebody say something. It's so silent that it's scary awkward. Oh gosh, you almost made me fall over. That's the least of our concerns. My state of mind is the thing to worry about here. What? Fine, I'll start then. I have 13 different stories to talk about. Which do you want first? 13 stories? Um, let's see. There must be some ghost stories about something to do with stairs. Eek. Oh right, there was something weird I've heard. Hey, hey, it would be better to go in silence. Ugh, shush, listen, something doesn't add up with a ghost story. 
doesn't match? What's the story? Well, there's a rumor that you can hear sounds like people playing basketball in the gym at night. So it goes, someone saw the lights on in the gym late at night, so she went to turn them off. There was nobody except for the dribbling of the basketballs and squeaking of shoes, like a game was going. But others say it sounds like people practicing ballet. That's weird. Right, basketball and ballet are worlds apart. Their movements don't sound alike, plus the noise of a basketball. So I asked the teacher, but he said we don't have a ballet club in school. Hey, don't you get that? That means that all these stories are lies. You are no fun at all. What? I've also heard something like that. You know, there's a rumor that you can hear footsteps in the hallway even though there's nobody. Ah, oh, the footsteps are getting closer, but you can't see anything. Yeah, that. I talked about it with my friend this afternoon, and he said bloody footprints will appear as the sound comes closer. Footprints? I've never heard of that before. It couldn't be. I thought I didn't miss out on any story. I guess there are slight variations in the stories. Hmm. Anyway, I got it to know about one room while collecting ghost stories. No one knows all 13 stories, but everybody knows this next one. What is it? Anyone who gets to know all, th all the 13 stories will be dragged into the ghost world, becomes a ghost and is bound to the school forever. Becomes a ghost and is bound to the school forever. Eek. What do you think? It's sending chills, right? It's different from what I've heard too. Really? Is it? Yeah, I heard the rumor going around is that people get dragged into the ghost world when the gate opens. Ah, right, right, that's kind of what I, he I heard of. So if you don't want to be dragged away, you should send the ghosts to their world before the gate opens, meaning to say, the ghost will cross over in your stead. Yep, I heard the same. Uh, well, why did I think that you'd become a ghost? Oh, you must be scared too. What? Of course not. I'm not like you. What? What's wrong with you today? Because you keep picking a fight with me. Yeah, arguing again. They never get tired of it. Sending a ghost. Don't take it too seriously. We are going to be fine. Oh, okay. Here's the fourth floor now. Yeah, it was quick only because we talked through it. Just a few more minutes. Being so close, I think I could see something over there, right? Over there. A bit from here? Don't say that. Pathetic. You're killing all the spookiness. We should... Be able to see some ghost activity soon. I think we'd rather not. <laughs> My brain's love like we're here. We're here. Woo, feeling a bit better now. It was tough getting here. Let's take a break for a minute. Yeah, whatever. Now my notebook is here. Yay, we got the notebook. Should write down what Shin Hyojin said first before I forget. Hey, turn on the lights. I can't see anything. Ugh, she's always like that. Let's see, which story should we go first? Stairs, classroom, restrooms. Wouldn't it be best to start with the closest one from here? The closest one? It's a ghost story about the mirror. You know there's a full body mirror in the lounge. When you look into the mirror at night, your reflection would suddenly smile. That's creepy. And if you look into the eyes of your reflection, your soul will be taken away. And bloody hand friends slowly come up from the bottom. And then hands emerge within the mirror, choking the reflection to death. The person slowly following after. Those two stories. Two stories tied to one object. People are so good at making up stories. Is it the lounge on the fourth floor? I don't know which floor it is. Yes, the fourth floor. Let's check the other floors too, just in case. Wait, let me see. This, I think we are closest to the cabinet. It should not be opened. It's in the woman's changing room. The one right here on the fourth floor. Ah, oh, you're right. It is. Then we can go for this first and then to the mirror. By the way, what time is it now? It's almost 12 a.m. Mm, then we should just stay here for a minute because I've heard ghosts appear after midnight. Typical. That's obvious because these stories are all made up. <laughs> okay, want to kill some time talking about those made up stories? Ugh, why this again? All right, which one should I tell you first? Wait. Ooh, that should be enough for today. All right, I should pick up my workbook. Going back to school at this time. Ah, she's the girl that disappeared in the intro, eh? I have no choice. I should get going. So she went back to the school all by herself. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, 
It's scarier than I thought. What should I do? Maybe I should call Jihee. Jihee. Hello, Jihee. This is Sunhan. Sunyeon. Yes, well, I'm at the back gate of the school now. Uh, the math workbook is due on Monday, but I haven't finished it yet. I left it in the classroom. But going in by myself, it's so scary. Maybe you can come with me if you are not too busy? Really? Sure, thank you. I'll wait for you. It's almost midnight. Jinnik. Wait, it's almost 12 already. Okay then, before going to bed, I'll just... Let's see. Uh... Darn, where is it? I didn't take it out from my bag. They definitely took it earlier. Damn it, I forgot it. Nobody could have touched my things. Should I go back to school? Look, I don't need to hesitate. I'll be back quickly. Okay. So he went to the school too. Interesting. Gee. Hmm. I'm sorry for asking you to come to school so late. It's okay. Thanks, but your parents will worry. Let's get it quickly and go home. Classroom? I guess it's in the classroom, maybe in the desk or locker? Mm. So we'll be okay, right? Why? The lights are off, so it's scary. You want to go back then? No, 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 let's go inside. You came all this way for me. If we turn back now, I would have only wasted your time. Okay. It should be fine, right? So it looks like we're just getting like the intro to the stories. We don't actually get to visit half of the stories yet during the demo. How's studying? P pardon? You came from that study room, right? Uh, yes, better than evening self-study session at school, I think. Mm. Oh god, look at the, the ghost in the background. There, you're that chin-up bar. It's too dark to see. Me too, but that must be a person there, right? I think so. At this time of the night, what is she doing? Let's just go through her. Let's take the other way. Let's take the other way, Jihee. Across the ground? Yeah. But she, she seems a bit weird. Doesn't she look like a ghost? Where did she go? Wait, behind you. Oh shit, that actually made me jump. Is this something Ah! Jihee? Jihee? Well, what should I do? Jihee is right. I can call her. My phone is. Why is it not working? No way. No, please, please. Jihee. Okay. See you on. Hmm. It's past 12 already. I lost track of time. It's been really silent. Usually I try to get home by 11. Otherwise, I'm so tired the next day. But one night should be fine. I'll get my bag from the classroom first. If I had known I'd get this late, I should have brought my bag with me. That way I won't need to go back to the classroom just to get it there by saving even more time for studying. Well, I was able to concentrate more than usual today. Okay. Hmm. Who is that? There's still someone at school. What are you doing here at this time? Nice night breeze. Ha. Like a jerk, as always. I'm leaving now? It's none of your business. Stop disturbing me and get out of my way. You study so hard. Unlike somebody, I'm quite diligent. Tonight it's going to be a long one. What? It will take some time to get home. Again with this nonsense. Stop annoying me and get lost. See you again. See you never. Idiot. Darn, why is it so dark? It's annoying. Ah! Ah! Damn it, what's wrong with you? Huh? You. Cha Seyun? Why are you here this late? Wait, are you crying? What happened? Earlier out there, a ghost? A ghost? Well, why do I care? It's true, there was a ghost. 
Yeah, right. You must have seen it wrong. What made you come here, though? It's midnight. To get my workbook? Yeah, by yourself? Oh, I came with a friend. Where's your friend, then? We got separated as we were running away from the ghost. I'll see her again. Did you call her? My phone went out. Then how are you going to find her again if you don't know where she is, right? Ugh, I left my phone at home. Well, fine, let's go find your friend. Pardon? I'm helping you find your friend. I'm sick of your crying. Uh, I'm fine. Sure, you're fine. You were just crying in a corner of a hallway. Hey, you think I'm doing this because I have plenty of time? I came here for my stuff, but now I'm standing here because of you. I'm fine being alone, so... Ha. You guys got split up outside, right? Yes. Ah, yes. Then your friend could still be out there. Shall we go out and look? No, no, I was going to the opposite side of the building. Yeah, well, you know your friend better. Let's get going, then. I would know I'm... Uh, what are you doing? Aren't you going to search, too, or what? I, I will. Slowpoke, hurry up. Okay. What? No light switches here, are there? Hey, are you? Damn, too dark to see anything. Uh, wait, someone's over there. Security guard? Oh, that's the janitor. Oh, janitor, okay. That's great. Let's ask him if he has a senior friend. Don't do that. Wait, wait, don't do that. Why, he might have seen your friend. That's right, but he's just a little weird. Come on, nothing's weird. Wait a minute. Please? Uh, well, all right then. You told me not to talk to him. Don't change your mind later. Okay, I won't. Let's just go. Sungyeon! Jihee! Are you okay? Where were you? I'm okay. Sorry, Jihee. I was so foolish for running away alone. I tried to call you, but my phone didn't work. I thought so, because you didn't pick up the phone. And he is? I don't know, I was crying when he forced me to go with him. Forced you? <laughs> he knew me, but I saw him for the first time today. What? You don't know me? Never saw me before? Yes. You were making me look like a criminal. I was helping you. Hang on, wait. You, you were walking around with a person you don't even know? Don't you know how dangerous it is these days? You shouldn't do that. So who are you? Uh, uh, Lee Jen, class one of third grade. You, you should be careful for now and watch out for strangers. Okay. Anyway, thank you for bringing Sung Yun. I just couldn't leave her crying. Just don't lose your friend again. She is such a wimp. Why are you here though? Oh, whatever, you don't need to know. I just had to pick up my stuff. You guys also came to pick up something, right? You kids better get it quickly. I'm leaving now. Jihee? What? Why? Come with us. What? Uh, why are you scared too because of the ghost? Then just go home. You only lost your workbook, so just buy a new one. It's not about that. What then? You mean you are not here for the workbook? Ugh, you just treat me like a kidnapper. Okay, okay. Ugh, what the heck? Just don't make me make things hard for me, okay? I don't want to have to babysit in the middle of the night. Let's go. Okay. Will it be okay with him? Oh! A new one just opened up. Interesting. Interesting. And no one has ever seen him again. How was it fun, right? Ah. Oh wait, it's already past midnight. Time for us to look around. You can read the rest of the stories in my notebook. Oh, why is she so into this kind of thing? Well? What, you guys aren't going? Stay here if you- <coughs> Eek? What was that? That came from outside. Hey, look out the window, you see anything? I can't see anything. It sounded like a gal, right? It's. Has something gone wrong? We better go down and see. Let's go. Hey, wait for me. That scream, wasn't it too desperate? That could be another ghost story, but I've never heard of any story of people picking up on a screen. I guess we'll see then, the 14th story unfolding for the first time. You really don't care what happens? Wait, stop. I hear something like high heels clicking. Hey, I hear n 
Eek. I hear too somebody's coming up. What? Who else is here at this time? This might be the footstep story. The story is when you're alone besides it's supposed to take place in the hallway, not the staircase. Maybe you hear them from the stairs too, you know? They're connected to the hallway. That makes no sense at all. Anyway, let's go to the first floor. No, we better hide first. Let's go to any classroom nearby. Uh, but what about the screen? I have a bad feeling as if we must not face this sound. We should go downstairs and check. Look, is it really okay to stay upstairs? Hurry, this way. Did somebody come up, or was it just a real ghost? Shut up, stupid. You want to screw everything up? Shh, be quiet. Has it left? Phew. Jenny, did you see anything? Nope, nothing came this way. Really? Then did it go up to the fourth floor? It's thrilling, right? Are you seriously saying that now? Why? Nothing happened. Ugh, boy. How do you come here? Look outside. You see anything? I can see things, but there's no one around here. What? What happened? The 14th story just happened. A mysterious scream. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna tell this to the guys on Monday. Ugh. Hey, maybe it wasn't a big deal. She might have simply fallen down. It did sound like that to me. Okay, maybe I was too nervous. It's a good thing nothing bad happened. By the way, I'm in a second grader's classroom for the first time. Everything looks the same, but somehow unfamiliar. Uh, it's just one floor different. It's not like we're using better desks or anything. Or something. You're right, nothing special still. Hmm, this is. Gun, what are you doing? Um, there's something written on the desk. A scribble? Does it look important? Well... Search. Be careful of the sound. It can attack you anytime. Um, oh, is it referring to the heel sounds? Eek, that's impossible. Don't say that. The sound. Or the scream we heard. Hey, hey, it's just a coincidence. What's wrong with you guys? What do you think, Gon? Can you make sense of this? Well, I'm not really sure, except it does sound a bit old. Hmm, you think so? It might be just a scribble, like Song Tae said. Come on, why or who should write something like this on their own dials? Maybe it was somebody else's. What did you say? You mean someone's getting bullied? Maybe a similar sound was made every time they were about to bully someone, so the victim would get scared just from hearing it. You mean like Pavlov's dog? Is that idea seriously coming from your head? It's so creepy. I'm just saying it could happen. Hmm. Did you know that there's a ghost story centered around a bullying? Ugh, what? There's more background to the ghost story? I don't know which exact classroom it was, but it's a ghost story about a second grade- Second grader's classroom. Oh, you're talking about the ghost that appears upside down outside the window. Everybody was talking about it earlier this year. Yeah, that one. They said it's a story about a student being bullied by a group of people who used to be her friends. One day the bullies pushed her chest outside just on the edge of the windowsill. Ugh, they went too far. The then? She tried to pick up the textbook, but somehow she fell and died. After that, she became a ghost, still wandering around the window looking for her textbook, all while floating upside down. Ugh, what the... Ew, how disgusting. Well, wait. Lana, what's wrong? I just saw something pass by over there outside the window. What? Are you sure? Oh, was that the ghost? Let's look out the window. Hey, it's must, it must have been a bird or something. Whatever, we'll see. Ugh, you're gonna open the window? Of course, why? Aren't you curious? I am, it's just weird things keep happening, so... Ha, I get it, hot, and you're scared too, so it's over then, you want to quit? Who's scared? Ugh, but... What? Are you scared or not? I mean, let's just be careful. What if it's a thief or worse? You be careful, stupid. Just boring, nothing's gonna happen if we don't do anything. Ugh. Oh my, what's wrong? The, the, the window! What is that? A ghost? A real ghost? Run! Ugh! Help me! Wait, we should stick together! Damn! 
Oh, did Hyojin just die? Message and detour. Phew, that was a ghost back there, right? Maybe we shouldn't have come. Ugh, I should find the other guys first. It should be fine to get out now. Phew, where is everyone? How can a big guy like Songtae be so timid? And the ghost stories, I thought I compiled them all, but still I missed some. Look, this is... Is this a scribble like the one before? Or there's another one over there. Hmm, just these two? Okay, I should read them. Search. Never think the classroom is safe. Look, I hope nothing pops up anymore. The scribble seems fresh. Better not go anywhere. I can't figure out these other so I need to cuss up Gon or Jinwoo later. Where have they all gone in? Should I call them? Mm -hmm. Oh dang, not again. You turned off all at the academy earlier. I have no choice but to look for them on my own. Okay, as long as I look around carefully. Ugh. They would never run away without me. They couldn't have. Jinwoo? Got it. Are you alright? I was worried about you. You guys left the other guy alone. Phew, so glad we met up quickly. That was, uh, right? I think so. Can't believe these ghost stories are real. We were lucky to get on skates, but the others... Uh, anyway, who is this? Uh, his name is Gong Jeha, third grader. I just met him when I was looking for you. Ah. Uh, hello. It's a moonlit night. So, what are you doing here? Where are the other guys? I haven't seen them, not yet. I was just taking a look at the graffiti Jeha told me about. Graffiti? Here? Where? Here, look at the wall. The red butterfly misses its hometown beneath the highest of the stairs, resting on the white flowers. Do you know this? Well, I don't think I saw it this afternoon. Teachers would never ignore something like this. Or what if someone did it in the evening? That's what I thought, but look. Doesn't it look like it was painted a few months ago at least? Uh, yeah, it does. Has the color faded? Let's see. Don't. Pardon? You'd better not touch that. Yeah, let's not touch it just in case. Okay. Well, then maybe we should know what it means. Isn't it sort of like a poem? A poem? Look, it's about a red butterfly missing its home. You know, like something you'd learn in the literature class. This could be an expression for missing someone who went far away. Like that? I don't think so. Uh, come on. Who would write a love poem in this manner? Why not? There are many weirdos. Ha. Huh. This is not something we should worry about now. Let's find the rest. Hometown? The hometown signifies the place to return to. What are you talking about all of a sudden? Uh, then beneath the highest of the stairs would represent... Right. Then the red butterfly is maybe... The red butterfly is the clue. The clue for what? Oh, dang. Jinwoo, what the heck are you talking about? You should figure out where the white flower is. Hey, Jia! The white flower. What's wrong with that guy? Is he in that case? It's not okay to say that like that. But he barely listened to us and just straight up left after he's done. Still, Gon always said to be careful when it comes to hate speech. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'm sorry. It wasn't all worth us thanks to him. I think I got something. You sure? Based on what he said about this graffiti, there must be a clue on the fourth floor. Yeah, that back there, what on earth did that mean? Pardon? You guys were talking past me the whole time. I didn't get in on one bit. Why the fourth floor? Uh, all right. Shall we talk? Get up for a moment and move on. Mrs. Hometown means. Remember, Jay said hometown represents the place to return to. Yeah, and it also said the reply is a clue. Right. I think that the red butterfly is a clue for the place to return to. What? So we have to find this red butterfly in order to figure out what this place to return to exactly means. Hang on. Hang on a second. I can't understand what you just said at all. That's hardly an explanation. Uh, did I skip too much? Yeah, you must be considered as a listener. Say it again. What is the red butterfly the clue for the place to return to? Hmm, let's substitute some words. 
the red butterfly as the clue and hometown as the place to return to. Substituting the original with those, the clue misses the place to return to. The red butterfly misses its hometown, then it could be the clue misses the place to return to. Yeah, that's it. So if we know the clue, we also realize what the place is because the clue yearns for it. What the heck again? So, never mind, it's done. I think I get it. Do you? The important thing is we have to find the red butterfly, but how? That's the problem. He said we should figure out what the white flower is. Figure out what did that mean? Hmm. Ugh. We don't have time to talk about this. Let's resolve this later. We should prioritize searching for the others. Besides, gun might be more useful. Okay, you're right. By the way, I saw some scribbles too. Really? What scribbles? Well, one was saying how the classroom is not safe and another said to not go near the lights of dark places. I saw them in the classroom where I was hiding and then I got worried so I immediately left for the hallway. That's when I met you. I say classrooms are also dangerous. Yeah, like earlier. Ah, right. Where are the other guys? I hope they're not in that classroom. Oh wait, Jin, your phone is working, right? My phone is dead because of the battery. I checked a while ago, there was no service. What? That never happened in our school before? Right. It's all because of the ghosts, you know, like in the movies? No way. Isn't it though? Your phone is broken too? Then let's just keep going. I saw some tear running this way. Yeah, I think everybody went this way. Everybody but the one guy. I knew there's something white. Um, it's in front of the classroom I was just hiding in. Did you draw something in there? But I wasn't carrying anything white. Let's see. Is it okay to touch it? I think it's fine. Hey, look. I was worried for nothing. It's a handkerchief, right? Maybe someone threw it away because it's torn. I don't think so. There's something written on it. Is there? Let me see. There is no way back. What the heck does that mean? No, I suppose not. Ow. Ugh, like, what's wrong? You're making me nervous. I feel it's a bad omen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hideout detour. How many stories are there? Right? Ha. Huh. Look at us. I'm sorry. It's a little bit cramped for both of us. What? No, man, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. Are you worried about Hodden? Yes, kind of. Oh, well, she must have run off somewhere. This, is, this isn't the only hiding spot. I thought Hodden would follow us, then she wouldn't lose sight of you since you were tall. Well, I was running too fast, and maybe Hodden couldn't catch up because of her shoes. You're right, indeed. Girls always wear uncomfortable shoes. Uh, hey, hey, definitely not the thing happened to her. Even if something did, she would have screamed for sure. Don't worry too much. I've noticed since we were kids, she would never get caught by anyone. Every time we got scolded, she was nowhere around. She always ran away like a ghost. Ha! Huh. So she must be hiding somewhere. Someplace. Let's go out and find her in a little bit. All right. I envy you. What do you mean? Because you're so reliable. I'm I'm relieved that I'm with you in this situation. I'm not that kind of person, you know, someone you could always rely on. Hey, what are you saying? You're a man, too. You'll be there to help when you have to, won't you? I'm not sure. I'm sure. Trust me. By the way, the rest of the guys must have gone away, right? Wasn't Hyojin in the closet closest to the window, though? Was he? I'm not sure. I'm worried. Should we call the others? Everyone should have the phones with them. Yeah. Oh, it works. Um, it says the person's not reachable right now. You called Hodden, right? Jinwoo was not answering either. Yeah. Are those plunk fl ugh, punks flirting around behind your back? Please don't say that. Hodden did complain about her phone battery at the academy today, so maybe we could have switched off again. It also could be a lie to curve her further. Please, that's a bit excessive. Okay, let's get out first. Uh, now? We can't reach them by phones, so better find out on our own. And we can't be sure this place is safe if something were to come out. You're right. Okay, hurry, let's get out of here. Whoa. Wh what? I didn't realize it earlier, since seeing as I was scared, but now I can't quite see creepy in here. Don't say it like that, it makes even more, more nervous. I'm sorry, but, uh... You're doing that again. Stop it. No, really. Something is glittering over there on the floor. Oh, right here. Oh! What is that? Hairbrow skip for nothing. Ew! But, looks like somebody threw it away. It's broken. Maybe someone lost it. How about we take it to Hotter and ask? Yeah, but it's kind of... She may know the person this pin belongs to. But, don't you have a strange feeling about this? Do you? I am totally- we didn't see anything like this when we came in. Like, it appeared all of a sudden. 
Um, maybe we were in too much of a rush to notice. No, I made sure to take a good look because something could have been in there. And with it broken like this, I don't think Hotem can even recognize who it is. Maybe you're right. Uh, okay, let's just leave it here. I hate that. Hog! Back to previous scene. Oh! Okay, so if you make the wrong choice... Okay. 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 Interesting. Okay. So being we already seen this part, I'm just not I'm just I'm not gonna read it out loud again. We'll go with the other option. Interesting. Well let's take it just in case. Hey hey. Interesting. Should how to not know who it is. I can also go back to the teacher room next week. Fine, whatever. Have it your way. Shouldn't even be a problem. Perhaps it's just a hairpin. Thanks. You don't have to thank me, so we're good now. Let's get out of here. Okay. Whoa. Ah. Harden. What? Kim Sungtae with Gon too? You are all right now. I'm relieved. Are you guys all? Why are you coming from the girls' toilet? I guess running and just followed after some tech. You perverts. Hey, cut it out. It could happen, especially when you're running in shock. But how? The boys' toilet is right next to it. We weren't thinking straight. It must be your true self coming out. Don't come near me, you perv. Oh, she's always so... That's enough. So you didn't see Hyojin either? Huh? It's just the two of us thus far. Okay, then maybe we should go back to that classroom again. He, he must have got away safely like we did. Anyway, let's get out now. Hodden, you saw go... It's like you wanted it. What? You are so selfish. We don't know what happened to Hyojin, and yet you'd escape just without him? I don't like him that much, but even I'd never do that. Look, I'm worried about him too, but I never want to see that ghost again. Shut up. You say loyalty is everything all the time, but when it's really important, you always get like this. You are useless. Let's stop here. We don't have to fight each other. But he's talking shit. Hodden. Ha. Ah. Fine, if you guys say so. Did you call Hyojin? No, you know my phone battery acting up. I tried to call you and it was already dead. How'd you get a new one? Uh, jin phone says it's not in the service area. It didn't mind this song. Tis were fine. What? Yours were connected? No, no, no. You and jin were not answering. Give me your phone. Here. Let's see. Hadan really cares about Hyojin a lot. Okay, I worry about him too, but... Yeah, of course. Oh, just shut up for a second. The phone's ringing. Pick up... Hello? Hyojin? <laughs> What's wrong? I heard a crazy voice. Eek. A crazy voice? Um. It's all messed up. I'm sorry, go on. Let's go buy a new one tomorrow for both of us. Huh. Does it matter now? Right, right. What can we do? Maybe the ghost did. The Let's get out of here. We can't do anything about it. If we keep staying here, we might be in danger too. That's right, we should go out and ask for help from adults. Ugh. Fine, fine, let's get out of here. Oh! Detour. You cut through the school grounds, how could you have done that? It's dark out at all. Because we had to, besides we did decide to take a detour through here. Sorry, Jihee. It's okay, you didn't get hurt. You said it was near the chin-up bar, right? Then it could have been. Well, I don't believe what you saw was a ghost, and you must have mistaken it for something else. Ugh. Ugh. What happened? What's wrong? There, there's something there. Ugh, so noisy. Who is this? Park Seo? What are you doing here at this hour? You never study. Mind your business. Why are you interested? I'm not, but can't you walk around more quietly? Don't you know you make more noise in the night? I still have a headache from that scream before. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing in school? Middle of the night, no less. 
No, wait, silly question. Studying, obviously, you are the teacher's pet after all. I imagine it's better than mixing with random girls at this hour. Can't you just shut up? We met on the first floor. I came here with her. Problem? No, I wouldn't care that much. I suppose you don't want anything from me. I'm busy. Bye. Yeah, let's go our own ways, please. That, that kind of personality comes from learning everything out of books. Jeehee? Hold on. There is something on the floor over there. Floor, what are you talking about? That. Hmm? It's a dumb prank. Prank? Uh oh. Grizzly some third graders with nothing to do have been pulling some pranks at the ghost doll. I understand that one got a warning after trying to frighten the teacher by placing it at her desk and now it's in the hallway. Oh wow, I wonder how the teacher's pet knows about that. There are some more people in this world who naturally remember miscellaneous things. Obviously, you can't relate to that. Are you done? Stop trying to pick a fight. I don't want to waste any more time on you. I think it's getting closer. Can I go fight, please? Oh, it's getting closer. It seems to be coming this way. What? Ha. Huh. Idiot. I can't listen to you anymore. Yeah, aren't you just too scared? It's definitely mo not moving. We, we shouldn't remain here. Uh. Okay, we're leaving then. At least it'll be quiet now. What are you doing over there? No! What? You should not get close to that. Hey, calm down. Did you hear? It's just a doll, eh? But, but I feel like if we get close, something terrible will happen. Something terrible? Why are you talking about it? It's just a doll. But, but I'm afraid that if something does, I just don't want to regret it afterwards. Well, you're right. But, um, are we just staying here like this? We best be going instead of arguing. We have no reason to face whatever that is. Why do I have to come with you? You don't have to be that way. You can see she's asking desperately. Gee, if you don't like us, you can get back to being on your own after we're away from this place. I know I'll never like this. Let's move fast then. Uh, you're really gonna come with us? Don't make me say it twice. Let's go, please. Fine, let's go to my classroom first. Say so, yeah, again, it's like, can we get away from whatever the hell that thing is? Like, please? Want to come in? Should I look for it with you? How impressively could you have hidden it? Damn it, this dumbass pisses me off every time. By the way, I wasn't talking to you. I'm going alone. Stay outside. I will be watching on that side. Everything is going to be okay, right? Hmm. Okay. So pathetic. Um. I must hurry up. I, perhaps I could have forgotten in my desk. What's this? What's this piece of paper in the trash? Dad was drunk yelling and crying. Dad was so scared today. I cried quietly in the room holding the baby in my arms. What the heck is this? Why is this trash in my desk? Damn it, I must have been supposedly proxy on. Okay, but I'm sorry, I'll just toss this on the way out. But where is it? Not here, but it should have been. If it's not in the classroom, ah, uh, the science room. Damn it, I have no choice. That bastard will be nagging again. Where are you empty headed? Uh, it's possible I left it in the science room. Come again? Ugh, you useless dumbass. This here is exactly why I never waste time hanging out with such idiots. What? You better watch it. Don't cross the line, bastard. Why do you shut up? You finally admit it's your fault. You. Damn. Science room? We can stop there on our way out. What? It's next to the exit anyway. We can just stop for by for a second. Yes, we can do that. I suppose. Sorry, I thought it was in the classroom. It's okay, right? Yeah. Then let's go to the classroom. You two, don't tell me we have to go to hers next. We're in the same class, so it's just one detour. And then, going through to the third floor, best avoid that hallway. Why are you overanalyzing? Come on, let's go. I don't take orders from a deity who just wasted my time. Let's just go. Everyone wants to hurry. Fine. Phew. You played the demo to the end. Please look forward to the rest of the full, the rest of the story in full version. <coughs> Sorry. So what's this? So not too bad. So we played all of the side things. Uh, let's see. Extras, additional stories. Okay, so there's dead ends, after stories. So these are all the main characters. Okay. 
different art galleries. Backgrounds are locked, characters are... Okay. So there's still a character we don't know who they are. Okay. Don't go upstairs, treadmill up and goes. Oh, so these are the different ghost stories. sound, the scribble on the desk. So these are the things that we managed to collect during this. Interesting. I like... I like how the game is set up, and I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of it. Because I'm wondering, will they actually play out through the... What is it? The 12? 12, 12 ghosts or whatever it was? To actually give us all of them, and then we have to figure out how to set the ghosts free. Is Hyojin dead? Obviously we have no idea. Judging by the picture, it looks like he is. We'll have to wait until the whole story to see. Again, let me know in the comment section if this is something that you actually want to see me continue when the full game releases. I am pretty curious on it, so yeah, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye! What happened? Earlier out there, a ghost? A ghost? Well, why do I care? It's true, there was a ghost. Yeah, right, you must have seen it wrong. What made you come here, though? It's midnight. To get my workbook? Yeah, by yourself? Oh, I came with a friend. Where's your friend, then? We got separated as we were running away from the ghost. I'll see her again. Did you call her? My phone went out. Then how are you gonna find her again if you don't know where she is, right? 